Lesson 27, using parentheses and fraction bars. In the last lesson, we learned about the order of operations rules. Those help us know what order to do the steps of a longer problem in. Remember, the way the rules work is that if you've got a problem, a little bit longer, it has maybe a multiplication and an addition or a division and a subtraction. The rule is you're supposed to multiply or divide first and then add or subtract second. But here's a good question. What if you have a problem where you actually need to add first and multiply second? That's possible. And actually, a lot of problems like that pop up in the real world. What do you do then? The mathematicians thought about this, and they made another rule which says that if you want addition to be shown first, all you have to do is put the addition inside parentheses. Let me show you what it looks like with an example. Say we want to add 7 and 4 first, we want to do the addition first, and then multiply that total by 2 second. We can't write it like this. We can't write it as 7 plus 4 times 2. That won't work because according to the order of operations rules that we learned in the last lesson, we would have to multiply 4 and 2 first and add 7 to that total second, and that's not what we want to do. To show that the 7 and 4 really should be added first here, we have to write it like this. See, we have to put the addition, 7 plus 4, inside parentheses. And actually, it's written a little differently. To save space, we leave out the multiplication sign and put the 2 right up against the parentheses. And notice that the 2 is in front of the parentheses. That's the way everybody writes it. Nobody writes it like this, where the 2 is in back. So 2 and then 7 plus 4 in parentheses, what that means is add 7 and 4 first, and then multiply that total by 2 second. Now let's go ahead and calculate the answer. Why don't you do it? The first step is going to be to add 7 and 4. Go ahead. Good. So that gives us 2 times 11. And then the next step, the second step, is to multiply. Go ahead and do that one on your own too. That's it. So the final answer on this problem is 22. Because of the parentheses, the correct order to do the steps here was addition first and multiplication second. That's the only right way to do it. And the main point, once again, is that to show addition before multiplication, what you have to do is put parentheses around the addition. That's the way the rule works. What about a problem where you need to subtract first and divide second? How do you show that? Let's take an example. What if we want to subtract 21 minus 6? We want to do that first, and then we want to divide that total by 3 second. We can't write it like this, 21 minus 6 divided by 3. That won't work because according to the rules that we learned in the last lesson, we would have to divide 6 by 3 first here if it were written this way. And we don't want to do that. So how are we going to change this? Well, you might think that we should put 21 minus 6 inside parentheses, but actually it's done a little bit differently. What we do, according to the rules, is to show this subtraction should be done first, we put 21 minus 6 in the top of a fraction, like this. And it's not that weird, because you know that division is sometimes shown with a fraction bar. You can take 10 divided by 2, and then you can also write that as 10 over 2. Those mean the same thing. Well, that's all we're doing here. Putting 21 minus 6 in the top of the fraction means 21 minus 6 is subtracted first, and then that total is divided by 3 second. Now let's go ahead and, and actually do the calculation. Why don't you start with the subtraction? That's first, because it's in the top of the fraction. That's right, 15. Now we have 15 divided by 3. And then the next step is to do the division. See, the division is second now. Go ahead and do that division. You got it. So the one and only correct answer on this problem is 5. And it would have worked the same way if we'd wanted to add 21 and 6 first and then divide that total by 3 second. We would have needed to put 21 plus 6 in the top of a fraction to show that. And the main point is that if you want to show that addition or subtraction is supposed to be done before division, what you do is you put the addition or subtraction inside a fraction. 